Yo, 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 it's Tay Wilkins, and if this is your first time seeing this, then it's probably because you've been doing some research on this whole high ticket affiliate marketing thing, and you see the power and the potential of being able to generate up to $1,000 per sale online, but you want to be able to do this properly. Well, lucky for you, you've come to the right place. I've been doing this high ticket affiliate marketing thing for a few years now, and as you watch this entire video, by the end of the video, you're going to discover all of the components that is needed to make you a successful high ticket affiliate marketer. I'm going to cover choosing a niche and the importance of it, how to find high ticket affiliate offers, the importance of building a simple funnel. And don't worry for those of you who aren't quite tech savvy, I'm going to show you a few systems and platforms that give you done for you funnel so that all you have to do is plug in. Finally, I'll be sharing with you how to actually drive traffic and put them in front of your offer as well as how to generate leads and sales while you're sleeping. But before we get started guys, do me a favor. If this is your first time, hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you never miss out whenever I release a new affiliate marketing video. Now, with that out of the way, let's jump into it. All right guys, so as you can see on the screen, we have an overall graphic of the workflow of affiliate marketing now I know guys is probably looking all confusing with all the stuff that's on the page but I'm getting ready to break it down step by step I just want to give you like real quick an overall visual of, of how this works but now let's jump into the details all right so the first thing you want to do is you want to choose a niche I don't know if you've ever heard the saying the riches are in the niches all right so what is a niche a niche is a topic or a field that ultimately you're going to become an expertise in all right, it's super important for you to become laser focused on one niche instead of bouncing around from different niches. All right, so what are these some of these niches and what are the most popular ones? All right, so here are some of the most popular niches that you will see the most success in. You've got health, you've got wealth, you've got relationships, and you've got tech. All right, these are considered evergreen niches, and what evergreen means is that these niches stand the test of time okay there's always a problem in these fields that people are looking for a solution to health you know people want to get in better shape people want to be able to eat healthier okay things like that you've got wealth this is things like making money making money online saving investing things like that you've got relationships this is uh getting your ex back or finding a girlfriend or a boyfriend or building friendships things like that in tech you know with everything that's going on more and more people are working from home they need computers uh, webcams mics uh, people who are in the content creation they're looking for all the best gear to have to set up lighting and all that stuff so like I said these are all evergreen fields where there's always a problem there's always a somebody's always looking for a solution and there's plenty of products for you to promote within these fields as a matter of fact when I first started my YouTube channel, I started in the tech field, uh, re reviewing cameras and lighting and camera accessories like tripods and, and mounts and things like that. So these are the ones that you, if you want to have the most success with affiliate marketing in, these are the ones that you want to start with. Okay. And like I said before, you want to choose one and you want to be laser focused on this. Something that I see a lot of creators do, even in 2022, is when they first start affiliate marketing, they're bouncing from niche to niche, just promoting any random product online. And nobody's going to take you seriously if you're doing that. It makes it harder for you. Nobody's going to take you seriously. And you're not going to see much success doing that. So as I mentioned before, get laser focused on the niche and stick to that niche. Okay. So. Now that we know what a niche is, we need to find a product within that niche to promote, okay? Now you're probably wondering, uh, is there gonna be a lot of competition? Listen, competition, especially in affiliate marketing, is a good thing. You want to find products that other people are promoting and are having success promoting because then you know that product is worth promoting. It's a good product, okay? So, now, where do we find these products, okay? So there are tons of affiliate networks that you can uh, get these high ticket products from. You've got ClickBank, you've got Digistore24, you've got 
Warrior Plus, you've got Max Web, okay? These are networks where people put their products on, and you can just go through the list, find out which ones are the most popular, which ones are really selling, okay? You can get your affiliate link from them, um, and you can go about promoting uh, these products. All of these allow you to sign up for free, okay? So all you need to do is just pick one, sign up, find a product that's right for you, and whatever niche that uh, you want to specialize in and go from there all right so there's also another way to find high ticket affiliate products and that's once you decide what niche or what industry you want to be in okay you can find influencers uh, authority figures in that niche that are established and see if they have their own programs or products that they're promoting and see if they have an affiliate program attached to it okay this is another way to find it. now these will probably be a little bit harder to uh, get signed up with because usually you have to make a big investment first before that uh, you'll get access to the affiliate program it's not always the case but sometimes that is the case but it is another option to find a high tech affiliate products but you will get everything that you need with these products okay so that is another option for you in order to find these products to in, uh, that you want to promote okay so next we're going to talk about driving traffic to your product you have the niche you have the product now we need to figure out a way to get uh, people in front of that product okay so there's two methods to doing this you have free traffic and you have paid traffic okay with free traffic the way you get traffic or the way you get uh, people in front of your offer is by creating content okay now this content you don't want to just create any old content you want to create content specific to your niche so like I mentioned earlier when I was doing tech I was reviewing cameras okay I was reviewing camera accessories lighting tripods things like that okay so this is the type of content that I want to create and I want to target people who are looking for camera gear camera accessories and things like that okay and I want to create content that caters to them to help them solve the problems that they're having so that they can make an informed decision on whether or not they should purchase a particular type or a particular product okay that I was reviewing all right and it'll be the same within the niches depending on the niches the type of content that you will make so let's say you were in the fitness niche okay people want to get in shape so maybe you would make content that shows people different exercises different workout routines how to work out if you have an injury things like that uh, these things help solve people's problems and then you can after you share that content you can uh, refer them to the product that you're promoting that'll accelerate uh, the solution to their problem and, and get them to where they need to be okay so that is the free method and when it comes to paid traffic now there's different types of paid traffic you've got Google ads you've got Facebook ads you've got solo ads okay and basically the way this works is you're paying for keywords or you're paying for sponsored spots or you're paying somebody to promote the product for you okay this is how paid traffic works uh, this is highly targeted traffic and uh, you can see some really good results with paid traffic but you have to really educate yourself on it because you could lose a lot of money now what would be best for you to start here's what I would say as a beginner if you have lots of time but you don't have a lot of money to spend I would go with the free traffic okay again it's free it's a great way to drive people to your product or service and it's a good way to build up rapport and loyalty uh, and a great way to build a personal brand okay now if you're a person who has money to invest but you don't have a lot of time maybe you're working two jobs or maybe you have a full family and it's hard for you to actually sit down and do this type of stuff then maybe you may want to invest in paid traffic okay you can let the systems in place do a lot of the work for you okay 
So that's what I would recommend as a beginner. Okay, it's up to you to decide which one you want to start off with. Uh, eventually though, as you become more experienced and as you grow as a marketer, you will want to move to paid traffic. Um, but as a beginner, it's not necessary, but it is an option, especially if you don't have a lot of time. Okay, so those are your options for driving traffic. Okay, the next thing and the most important thing when it comes to driving traffic is you need to understand uh, having a funnel in place in order to properly guide people to buying whatever product or service that you're promoting. What I see a lot of people doing is they're taking their affiliate link and they're driving people straight to a sales page, okay? You don't want to do that. And the reason that you don't want to do that is because people don't buy right away, okay? Sometimes they'll look at the product and they'll go about their business and go do something else. And they'll forget about it. They'll forget that they even looked at it. Once they do that, that's a potential sale that you just lost. So what you want to do instead is you want to drive your leads to a landing page, okay? And this landing page, pretty much what you would do is you would give them some, a free piece of information like an ebook or a free training video, something like that, um, in exchange for an email address, okay? Now, this is important. The reason why you want to collect an email address is so that you can send these leads emails later on so that even if they do walk away or, or leave that sales page, you can bring them right back. OK, and this gives you more chances to generate a sale. All right. Something that I like to personally implement, this is optional, but I like to do is implement a bridge page. OK. The bridge page is a page that goes in between the landing page where you capture the lead and the sales page. Okay. This is where you kind of give people a chance to get to know you and you get to warm them up to what they can expect on the sales page. Okay. Give them a, a tiny bit of information about what they're going to see. Okay. And then let the sales page do the rest. All right. Again, this is a good way to uh, build a little bit more rapport and loyalty with your uh, your leads okay and this gives you a higher chance of generating a sale also a bridge page is great uh, especially when you're sending emails because some email service providers uh, they don't like it when you send straight to a sales page okay so having a bridge page there is great and if you're doing paid traffic you definitely need a bridge page it's a requirement okay or you will get banned Okay, so I like to just implement it all together. Again, it's a great way to increase your sales because people get to see you, get to know you, or you know, get a little bit of information on what they're getting into, and it'll help them make that that purchasing decision. Okay, and then finally, you got the sales page. Once you grab the email, you know, warm them up to the sales page. Then they see the sales page, and then they make the sale. Or they make a purchase and you you get the sale okay so now how to go about actually getting a landing page now there's a couple ways that you can do this okay the first way is email autoresponders have built in landing pages that uh, with templates that you can use to collect leads okay and then from there you can set up an automated email response that will send them back to the bridge page uh, or the sales page depending on how you want to do it. as a matter of fact let's go back to that that first graph that I showed you back at the beginning so here we have that whole workflow okay and as you can see down here at the bottom we have the opt-in and we have our emails okay so with the email autoresponder, you can set up once they once they subscribe to your landing page, the emails will automatically go out, taking them back to the bridge page or the sales page. Okay. So that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is to sign up for a program like ClickFunnels or Builderall 
or like system.io, I believe it's called. And these will allow you to build landing pages and you can collect leads that way. Okay, they have plenty of templates. They have plenty of tutorials on how to do it. Okay, so you have plenty of options there. And then finally, you can actually sign up for an affiliate program that I actually have done for you funnels. Okay, and I'll give you an example on the screen. This is a program that I promote and they have lead capture pages that captures the leads that gives you the emails that sends out the emails automatically once they sign up. Okay, so that's another way to do it. All right. So guys, this is basically high ticket affiliate marketing in a nutshell. Okay, just to summarize it real quick, you choose a niche and that niche you choose a program then you drive traffic to that program you choose whether you want to do free traffic or paid traffic okay you send them to a landing page that landing page collects the email okay and then from there you send them to a bridge page that warms them up to the sales page and then from there they can make their purchasing decision and if they don't make a purchasing decision you'll have the email autoresponder that's sending them emails automatically on a daily basis while you sleep okay this is where getting leads and sales in your sleep comes in you have that email autoresponder sending them emails while you sleep that sends them back to the sales page so that they can make a purchase and you can make the commission all right so i hope this was helpful for you guys and uh, if you found this useful please do me a favor hit that like button and comment down below and let me know if you found this useful guys also if you want a more in-depth look at affiliate marketing I have a playlist down in the description below where I take you step by step over the shoulder from beginning to end signing up for a program and promoting it online and making sales if you want to join that training series there will be a link to the playlist down below guys and if you want my number one recommended program to make money online that will be the first link down in the description so go ahead and check that out it has everything included here it has it done for you funnels it has great commissions everything that you will want is in this program so make sure you check that out and with that being said guys this video is done thanks for watching and i will catch you in the next one take care